Hey house guests, welcome to tonight's BB10 recap. Well, the last time we left the house guests, they were in the midst of an HOH competition. Yeah, endurance. That's right. So they were hanging on swings, crashing into walls, being rained on. And among other things, <laughs> there were these green and black balloons on the wall that you could take off and throw. That's right. Water balloons. That's right. So Jerry was having a big little problem. He was having some groin issues. Yeah. And I was looking and seeing what he was talking about, and then I could never look again. I've been scarred for life. I'm going to have Maybe nightmares Maybe he was the tonight. one at the end of the last episode who's like, oh, my balls. <laughs> it could be. It I could very well be. I don't know if Jerry refers to the boys as that, but it you know, could have been. 41 minutes, that's all the boys could handle. That's right. Jerry had a bail. And uh, he couldn't walk right away. He must have been really hurting. No, like, their legs were numb. I know, but it took him a while. He was like, I can't walk. <laughs> okay, so he walked in the end, so it was all right. So Memphis was taking full advantage of those water balloons and throwing them at Michelle. <laughs> well, I don't think he was throwing them at her at first. I think a couple times. But she was in the way. Keisha couldn't handle it. Fell off an hour and five minutes in. Memphis was pissed. <laughs> he uh, he thought that she would at least put in a little bit of an effort. I thought she did. I guess, but... I then she's Michelle, young. an hour and 59 minutes, but she claims her leg got caught in the netting. And it pulled me off. It pulled me off. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? She was messing around with that netting earlier, so that's why hers was sticking out. So don't be blaming that, because it's your fault. Well, Memphis... He really tried to hang in there, but he bailed at 3 hours and 19 minutes. So it was down to Dan and Ollie. Right, and Ollie is determined that he's going to not quit and that mm -hmm. he's going to win this for April. They go over to April. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, Dan wants to see his girlfriend, Monica. That's right, but Ollie's got peeps too. So, you know what, he's not going to come this close and then quit. Hey, Ollie, want to make a deal? All right. <laughs> so, Dan, What's the deal? after a while of trying to get, like, oh, you're safe, you're safe, he has to pull out the big guns. So he tells Ollie, you and one other person of your choice will be safe from nominations. But it's just me. I only want to be safe. <laughs> Original nominations and POV nominations, and he will get to pick a nominee. And the last part, if the POV is used, Ollie gets to pick the replacement. So Ollie, I mean Dan, is the new HOH. Who gets the better deal now? Well, Dan doesn't have to keep his word. Well, he doesn't, does he? Mm -hmm. But Ollie doesn't know that. So, yeah, Ollie ends up telling Michelle about the plan. Hey, Michelle. What's I up? Ali, I gotta tell you something. Wait, but make sure nobody's around. All right, Ali. All right. Now, Michelle, I made a deal with Dan. Really? I thought shh, you did. Shh, 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 shh. Don't talk about it. I'll talk. <laughs> I made a deal with Dan for HOH. Okay. I am the HOH, except they're not calling me the HOH. What? That's right. That's right. Listen. I'm safe, and after like an hour, I picked you to be safe too because I couldn't think of anybody else. Thanks, Ali. And then I get to pick one of the nominees, and this is the best part, Michelle. This is the best part right here. If the POV is used, I get to pick the replacement. What? Did he ask, like, next week? Um. No, 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 no. See? He didn't even ask to be safe next week. Oh my god, he's so stupid. I know. Who's smart now? Tell me who got the best deal now. I is smart. Shame on you, Ollie. Dan told you not to tell anyone. Mm -hmm. Well, it's time for Dan's HOH room. Let's go! Yeah. Everybody upstairs. So there's pictures of, like, him at a football game and, like, his girlfriend and stuff. <laughs> he's whipped because yep. there's a Taken shirt. <laughs> Memphis would totally be caught weird. dead in it. And then his letter, he was reading it. It was from Monica. And he totally wanted to appear weak. Yes. Like he always does. 
So, whip up the fake tears. <laughs> I don't think it's an act, but anyhow, he totally reeled in Renny because she was like, I love a man with a softer side. <laughs> okay. So then, the package I've been waiting for, the yes. focus on Renny and Dan's love-hate relationship. Love it. Renny and Dan and a few others are sitting around on the couch area. And Renny wants to know how many girls Dan has dated. So he's like, what dated, dated, been with, let's set a minimum. Does that include <laughs> studying or does that include studying? No, he only and, talks about that in the diary I mean, room. Right. He wants to know. I mean... Is this uh, somebody I went out for a sandwich with? Or is this somebody that I went, uh, studied at the library Ooh. with? Or, you know, went out with. So eventually Renny's like, go suck an egg! It's inappropriate! <laughs> she can't take it anymore. He mm -hmm. won't even give her an estimate. That's he very loves, rude, Dan. No, he just, he's playing with her. He loves Monica, and he doesn't want Monica to find out what a player he is. Because he's, he's got player. some moves. All right, so it's time for Ollie to go up to the HOH room. There's what? a cold one waiting. Yeah. <laughs> he walks right in, Dan's like, here. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Ollie has in his giant head that uh, Memphis needs to go up. Because mm -hmm. he don't like Memphis. Well. I know. So Memphis is part of the Renegades Alliance with Dan. This is making Dan very upset because... Dan doesn't want to break his alliance with Memphis, but he doesn't want to go back on his word with Ollie. So he goes and talks to Memphis, and he's like, yo, I think you're going up. Was so, he expecting Memphis to be like, yeah, that's a great idea, no, man? No, he knew it was going to be like... Wow. Memphis is worried, mm -hmm. and uh, he's letting everybody know that he's worried about young Dan. Mm. So Dan senses this, and Dan tries to secure the final four. He has Keisha and Rennie come up to the HOH, and he's like, all right, final four, kids. Let's shake on it. Rennie, me, Memphis, and Keisha. Well, Rennie's like, I don't trust Memphis. He's inappropriate. <laughs> so, yeah, Dan can understand that and says he don't trust him either. Yeah. They so, agreed on the final three right. for the ones in the HOH room, and they were like, well, we'll see what happens with Memphis. They're going to use them. Then abuse him, yeah. according to the final four. And Rennie gets to pick the name, which is TBA, or TBD, to be determined. So, Dan is feeling a little crazy, and he doesn't know what's going on. So, no. he decides to talk to Monica's picture. <laughs> that is a bad move. <laughs> that is always a bad move. Then he's like, what do I do with my deal with Ollie? My mom would say keep it. My, my dad, dad would say, say break, break it. it. I don't know. Time I for think, nominations. I think so. So Dan starts off the nomination ceremony with a little speech. Yes. He said that he made a deal with Ollie, but he didn't say what it was. So the last two keys that don't come out are Jerry and Memphis. Jerry, because let's do it in terms of football, kids. It's Dan's first down. But Jerry's not out of the game yet. <laughs> right. Take that for what it's worth. He should have just said, Jerry, the whole house thinks you're an F-nut. That's it. <laughs> Memphis, I was a little bit confused about his speech for Memphis. Memphis was like he was trying to divert attention away from the fact that he might have an alliance because who would believe... I know, that's not what he said, though. Well, he said, who is Memphis? Is he a renegade? Wink. Yeah. Or, whatever else he said. I don't know, whatever. The only important part of that speech was <clears throat> that he said he was a renegade. And Memphis was just like, whatever. He w did not want to go up. So, you know what Tuesday is, kids. It's POV time. Mm -hmm. Will Dan F it up? Or will Dan pull off the best play in the history of Big Brother? We'll have to wait to find out. Till then. Much love.